Hi, my name is Rebecca Rainier, and I'm a football mom, and I'm a wrestling mom, and I'm a band mom. I was raised in a house of all girls, and pretty much this used to be my favorite recipe with Philadelphia cream cheese. I would have a bagel with cream cheese, still one of my favorites. But now I have to feed hungry football players and wrestlers a couple of times a week. We're talking dozens of guys, so I've had to learn how to cook a little bit more than just a bagel. I've learned to cook, for the most part, from my football mom friends. Today I'm going to show you a recipe from football mom Kathy. We're making Philadelphia chicken puffs. It's really easy. There's only eight ingredients. Take a look. You have a finely chopped onion. You have three seasonings. You have poultry spice. You have a little ground pepper and a little bit of seasoned salt. And that's to taste as much as you want. I just use a little bit. You have some Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. You also have some cooked chopped chicken. Now you can raise your chicken and cook it yourself or buy it from a can. I bought it from a can. Also, you're going to want to pick uh, your favorite shredded craft cheese. I picked Colby and Monterey Jack for this recipe. And finally, of course, you've got your eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. You're going to want to soften your Philadelphia cream cheese. No more than 10 seconds in the microwave. That'll take care of it. Our cream cheese is softened. I like doing that. Okay, you just put everything in the bowl really complicated. Our cheese, our chicken, our finely chopped onions, which you didn't see me do because I cry when I do it, and our seasoning. Now we just mix it with a fork. I like to call this exercise. It should look just about like this. Now we're going to use our Pillsbury Crescent Rolls, which I always like any recipe with Crescent Rolls. Oh, because of that. <laughs> Just open them up. You don't even have to be careful because we're going to kind of separate these. Following kind of halfway through the perforation. Let's take that apart. It's really easy to separate the Crescent Roll. You just want one at a time. And the perforation... <laughs> That didn't work out. <laughs> so you take just one crescent roll, use the perforation, pull that apart, and use your little roller here. And this is that you don't have to be perfect part. You want to make sure to spread out the dough so that you have a lot more dough so you can put a lot of the chicken mixture inside. Again, it doesn't matter what the shape is. You're just making it bigger so it will be a nice little home for your cheese and your chicken. There, look, the Upper Peninsula. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No? Okay, so we just finished spreading this one out, and we're going to add two big scoops of the chicken cheese mixture. You do not want to be skimpy on this. You want all your football players and your football moms to get a lot of meat and cheese. Now we just tuck the little bit in the center in. This dough is great because it's stretchy. You don't want anything slopping out. So just swaddle that chicken in there. Snug. Ready to go. There it is. Since this is a football mom recipe, we want to give you an instant replay, just so you see how we did it. Just roll it like that. Any shape will do. But the triangle is nice. And you're going to use two big scoops. And you can be a little bit sloppy. Ooh, there you go. And then, like I said, you just tuck in the filling. Each corner gets nice and tucked in, none of it slopping out and you are all set. Ta-da! Preheated 375 degree oven. If you have a fancy schmancy convection oven, you can go with 350, but we go 375. We've got about 30 minutes while the Philly chicken puffs cook, and I want to tell you about something. My son's going to be a senior, and when your son's a senior, mom gets to wear the jersey for senior night. It's really great, except for last year, a lot of us were concerned because the jerseys were tight around here and, and here. I don't want that to happen this season. So we've got these 30 minutes while the puffs are baking, and I want to burn off about 10 minutes per puff is what I estimate. So I'm getting on my treadmill.
Okay, that's enough. Hopefully that's all I need to do so I can fit into my son's football jersey. I mean, I could probably have two because I had it on an incline. All right, one more thing I need to do before getting the chicken pups out of the oven and going to the game, I need to put my spirit buttons on. I put the same buttons on in the same place every week. If I don't do that, I could jinx the team and they could lose and then it would be all my fault and I can't have that. See, the team is bigger than me. They are all set. It has been just about 30 minutes. The main thing is just to make sure that they're this golden brown color. Wait a minute before plating them because you don't want them to kind of fall apart. You want them to move right to the plate. Perfect. All right, they're all set. Look at our Philly chicken puffs. We're ready to go to the game. I've got my spirit buttons on. I've got my sign, go team. I guarantee if you take this to a football game, a soccer game, even a PTA meeting, it's a guaranteed winner. I'm Rebecca Rainier.